Um, and uh, um, um, To who are these broadcasters? Right over there, that's Eric Zane. I'm Christian Blatt. And boy, I hope you're not tired of the eclipse because uh, you're going to be spending some time talking eclipse with us. Eric, did you live anywhere where you could see the eclipse yesterday? And if you did, did you just ignore it and work like a real man? No, I went out and checked it out. I was was interested. Yeah. Yeah. I checked it out. I had my uh, my cool guy glasses on and uh, looked up at the sun. Did not get blinded. Uh, and then, you know, after about 15 minutes, I, I went back about my day. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll see how the rest of the world or the rest of the country responded to the eclipse. But before we dive into that, Eric, you got to let everybody know how Super Chats work on this show. Uh, yeah, Christian. I mean, this is so simple. I mean, rather than just begging for money, uh, we want you to actually get something out of it. First of all, let me let me point out that if you actually make us laugh or say something funny or really, really polite and sweet to us, like Simon there is, yep. you can get on there. I mean, we're yeah. not we're not above that. Uh, you and can- for our audio audience, Simon343 exclamation point says, finally, the most talented show on the WATP network. Uh, you know, I didn't yep. write that one, but I will uh, I will say thank you. That's true, though. I mean, all these other stupid shows where they just attack everybody. Fuck those guys. I mean, we we are the future. I like uh, who are these socials because I like Tourette's girls with big knockers. Okay, I like that, too. I I can't say that I don't (laughs) like that. Um, But anyway, um, if you want Christian to sign off by saying something terrible, maybe some Nazi propaganda, uh, propaganda. Maybe uh, maybe talk about how what his love for this love of children, whatever it may be. You have to attach a dollar amount to it. Highest dollar amount will will earn that. Okay. Yeah. We just heard you sniff, by the way, on the microphone. That was horrible. So <laughs> uh I did, you know, I uh I don't have the setup where I heard that. So uh, I figured it was uh really subtle. And look, in, in the real life, I love my kids. You give me enough money, I'll say I love anybody's kids. That's yes. really what it comes yes. down to. Yes. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, we are going to jump into the world of who are these eclipses, starting off with uh, some local news. Others imitate it. We appreciate it. And uh, it seemed like everybody was excited about the solar eclipse for the most part, or at the very least, some people were smart enough to pretend they were excited about the solar eclipse in order to get a little bit more time out in the yard. Inmates are suing the New York State Corrections Department over the decision to lock down prisons during this upcoming solar eclipse on Monday. Six male inmates from Woodburn Correctional, which is downstate, uh, with varying religious backgrounds, filed the suit. They argue the lockdown violates their constitutional rights to practice their faiths, citing the eclipse as a, quote, religiously significant event. So my question for you, Eric, I don't, I don't know what faith you were raised in and what you practice. Can you think of a religion where uh, witnessing the solar eclipse is essential to, you know, it's not like I need a prayer rug. I need to face Mecca three times a day. Uh, I, I don't know how the solar eclipse fits into it. 
witchcraft, perhaps? I, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not, may, perhaps Wiccan? Yeah, and as always, I'll always defer to the chance that it could be Scientology, you know? Uh, okay, which, all right. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I've got no slander towards that uh, organization. I don't even have an opinion uh, because I know it's good for me. But, uh, well, I just thought uh, it was like, oh, yeah, 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 we have to be able to see the eclipse. It's like, really? So, I, I don't know. You know, if you really need to see the eclipse, you probably shouldn't have done whatever got you into prison. Exactly. That's always my take on these things. It's always, it's always very unfortunate when I hear about inmates who are suing over things. Yeah, or, like the, the prison uh, doesn't have vegan food or they don't no. serve gluten free. I'm like, well, you really should have thought about that. Shouldn't you? They, yes, they, they shouldn't even get like any type of medical care. I mean, that's just how it goes. I'm sorry. Yeah. You, you immediately become a Christian scientist when you go into a prison. It's like, well, you can pray on it, but uh, we're not even going to get you any band-aids. Right. Like in Shawshank Redemption. I, I like the way that warden behaved and the way the, the guards, I was on their wow. side in all of that shit. You, you also really liked the hierarchy in the shower from what I understand uh, in that yeah. film. Hey, yeah. Whatever, whatever it takes, you know, guys <laughs> got to get laid. Dumb. Some that's survival of the fittest. So when I say everyone was excited about the eclipse, uh, there, there's really always one curmudgeon that you can count on to provide cloud cover over your excitement about Bailey's beads, coronas, and totality. And of course, I'm speaking of the king of all media, Howard Stern. You know, I hate solar eclipses or be, only because people attach meaning to them and, you know, they, they get spiritual about them and all that other bullshit. But uh, I've lived now, you know, many, many decades. And uh, I don't think once I went out and looked at a solar eclipse. I've lived through many of them and it's just a complete waste of time. It's boring. <laughs> yeah, and you know what it's like? they've been happening since I was a kid. <laughs> We've got a little bit more of this, but uh, I need to pause and... Uh, I have not seen Robin Quivers in quite a while, Eric. Yeah, I am. This is entertaining to me for many reasons. First of all, Robin, who yeah. looks like actual Robin from Batman and Robin with yeah. the goddamn mask on. Oh, wait, those are her glasses. Yeah, she right. She's got Robin's mask. She's got the uh, the Aunt Jemima wig, you know, after they took the do-rag off of yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. And uh, something about her eyes, it gives the quality of uh, super chatter extraordinaire Brock Lee. Yeah, there's. <laughs> I, I wish our audio audience could see Robin Quivers because yeah. I haven't seen her in uh, maybe five years to a decade. And uh, I was a little jarred when I saw this. It was yeah. why I was sure to pull this she, clip. She looks like about a 50-year-old dude who became a chick i mean she really does and and the glasses it's almost like instead of lenses there's images of eyes on them like you can't really see her real like, eyes like, like they got they got dug out of her head or something like that yeah, and those are fake eyes uh, yeah. uh images of eyes on the glasses like the eyes that have like the slinky eyeballs that come out yeah. but these are just printed on there because yeah. maybe she doesn't actually have any eyes uh, I want to I want to let uh, Howard have a little bit more to say about uh, raining on the eclipse fun. It's and so, I don't think I've ever seen one. It's so stupid. I think when I was a kid, you know, you're not allowed to look up at the solar eclipse. Right. You can go blind, et cetera. You've learned, heard all and that. And I was like, OK, make those boxes. They never yeah, worked. But, <laughs> but once the teacher told me, don't look up or you can go blind. That was it. I lost the interest. And you know, want to know something. <laughs> it, it gets dark and then it's not dark. It's a great point. I mean, I, I can't poke a hole in that part of it. You know, it, it does get dark and then it's not dark. It, it's kind of cool. It doesn't happen all the time. But, you know, Howard's like, oh, something bad could happen to you. Great. I'm not going to do it. You know, it's why a, he's, he's mostly lived in his house in the Hamptons for the last four years. It was a horrible rant, by the way. And, and you know, it's bad because when he's thinking of things to say, he's saying the words, you want to know something when he's doing that. He doesn't even know what he's going to say next. He's buying time. Yeah. He's a pile of shit. And by the <laughs> way, look at those goddamn guitars behind him. Like he plays those fucking things. Yeah. Fuck this that. is his home studio too. So he's oh, got yeah. a room in his house where he's got these guitars that he's showing off. Uh, I, I don't think he plays them. I, I wonder if he's ever even touched them. I mean, they also don't even look like they're signed. You know, so I'm like, what's the point of having these guitars? 
You know, yeah. it's great if Eddie Van Halen did. What a what a terrible old man rant. <laughs> I hate eclipses. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, in his heyday, he could have a little post-it note that said eclipse rant and he could fill 20 minutes and you'd probably enjoy it on your commute into work. Now he's like eclipse question mark. And he's like, yeah, I guess I got something on this. Right. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's- he didn't even have any substance in it. He no. just said eclipse. Oh, they stink. Robin. <laughs> And then that's it. He's like, yes, they also because look, Robin knows what side of bread is buttered on. You know, always affirm Robin. That's that's what you do uh, over there. Uh, by the way, uh, just a quick aside. According to an article I saw on Yahoo, there is one other group that wasn't happy about the eclipse. Uh, that uh, it said uh, while the event will cast a brief shadow on life in Texas, it sheds a light on scientific fields that have been mainly out of reach for black folks. So congratulations, Yahoo. You found a way to make the eclipse woke. <laughs> Wait. Uh, so uh, studying the stars, black people can't look at stars? Is that what they're According saying? According to Adam Mahoney, who wrote this piece, and uh, he does look like he falls under into that uh, ethnic checkbox. Yes, he yeah. says that uh, it's a, yeah. And then uh, the article goes on to make the point that, uh, you know, they, they declared a state of an emergency because of all the extra people that would come in. And, uh, you know, Texas is already in a state of emergency for a variety of reasons. So uh, wow. this guy, at least he he had a thesis and he followed it through. But he's also trying to, you know, just upset the fun that anybody was about to have. Well, you know, I mean, it's a new a new uh thing trying to get planetariums in every inner city ghetto. It's a grassroots <laughs> organization that's trying to get our black folks exposed yeah. to stars. Look, uh, I, I give money uh, anytime I drive through Compton. Uh, they say it's for the planetarium. Uh, they don't really ask me. Uh, I just hand it over. And uh, hopefully one day <laughs> that money does go yeah. to uh, funding, you know, kids being able to look at the stars well that's the slogan for the watts planetarium it's uh give me your money motherfucker (laughs) just like you said and they'll uh i'm glad i just repeated your joke hey that's to make sure everybody (laughs) heard it i appreciate that well anyway most everybody else was excited for the uh, eclipse some people were so excited they wanted to make it part of their forever Part of the story of the rest of their lives. In Russellville, Arkansas, more than 350 couples took the celestial cue and tied the knot, sealing it with an eclipse. It just seemed really fun and something unique. Oh, I was hoping they'd kill themselves right after that. <laughs> yeah, there's a yeah the uh, the uh, the reception had a just a huge vat of bright red Kool Aid. Go ahead, help yourself. Uh, I, I I chose this very short clip because. I felt like they were going to get married at the Renaissance festival and they had it all set up and they're like, Oh no, no, let's go ahead and uh, just do it at the eclipse. I guess we'll we'll save on the overhead. (laughs) It's, you know, it's the same, either the eclipse, Renaissance, burning man, maybe this saves on travel. It's right there. Everybody can see it. Ah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, the, there's a piece uh, that uh, CNN did. And one of the common threads for all the footage that I watched yesterday, by the way, there are a lot of eclipse clips in this show. <laughs> Sorry, JFK head chunk as always makes me laugh. Yes. It had to be dark to marry her. <laughs> hey, which, which her are you talking about? Because uh, I feel like it's a lateral move. This is what we call in Vegas a push. You know, <laughs> nobody wins in this hand, but nobody loses either. You know, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> he always has great. Again, he I laugh, but he makes me so goddamn mad I, because... I, it, yeah, it's, it's I good love jokes. Chunk. I mean, just his his screen name alone. I don't think he's ever had to super chat us. He can always get his stuff no. on the screen yeah. for free. Uh, anyway, so there's a lot of these clips. It's very hard to uh, for the cameraman to figure out what they're showing. They're all very difficult to watch, which is why I uh, I chose them. So this is a reporter from CNN. And she goes up to one of those 350 couples that got married right there in Alabama. It's a little bit later in the day, as you'll see. And uh, I guess the cameraman can't see because, uh, well, he's filming the wrong couple for most of the conversation. And it uh, didn't make me laugh out loud, but it uh, gave me a little chuckle. See, I talked to this couple. I talked to you guys 15 years in the making. You just got married. Just tell me, how are you guys feeling? 
ecstatic. Ecstatic. What do you think about this show in the sky? Oh, Zoomed in on a different. Amazing. I feel my mom's energy because your mom oh. passed away. How many years ago now? Her, uh, it's been eight years now. Oh, eight years. And so you guys away. held off getting married until now. And now, look at this. You feel your mom here. You guys are finally married. And this show <laughs> in the is. sky. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Gary? Actually, he made me cry. I didn't think I'd cry. <laughs> What I love is that she's answering her questions. And I assume that they spoke earlier and she said this. And it's like, I really wanted you to say that thing about how you feel your mom's energy. And she's like, yeah, I'm not going to say that on camera. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Bill, Bill Clinton with the Mets logo says died of embarrassment. Well, <laughs> Yeah, uh, exactly. And uh, yeah. this is another one of those. I feel like as you see these couples, you're like, oh, yeah, I guess that they look like someone who could be talked into getting married in an eclipse. Both yep. the uh, bride and groom here, uh, you know, definitely, you know, it's a yeah, sure. Why not? I don't. Yeah. I, I, you yeah. know what? But the, the whole idea of it is, I mean, I don't hate it uh, because it's very cool. I like the totality. I like that whole idea of it. Yeah. I'm not a I'm I'm not a poo-pooer of eclipses. So, so you're, all right. You're you're not as crotchety as Howard Stern. No, no. Yeah. I mean if I mean I, I liked the idea since we I could have gone to it. It was only three hours away. Um oh. about how quickly the lights go out because when it's ninety nine percent blocked, there's still plenty of light. But yeah. once it covers that little fucking thing, the lights go out. And I guess that's really fantastic. But in fact, I told myself six years ago, I am going to go to Toledo, Ohio and do this shit. And then I realized yesterday I'd be going to Toledo, Ohio. So I said, fuck it. I can't do that. Yeah. I, I want to see the sun, but uh, yeah, I don't want to stay at a Motel 6 in Toledo. You know, <laughs> it's not really worth it. <laughs> well, uh, Howard made a decent point, like I said, about how it gets dark and then it stops. And I will concede that for these people in these prime viewing locations like Toledo, it probably did look really cool, but uh, the reporters who talk about it, they started doing a thing that I like to call eclipse explaining to all of us because we sure as hell can't see anything in most of these clips. This is in uh, Del Rio, Texas. And uh, this one, it starts off, everything is easy to see. And uh, the uh, reporter gets a genius idea. <laughs> I want to show you exactly what it would be like if we didn't have the light on us right now. So let's just go ahead and turn that light off. It is absolute darkness. It's actually a bit creepy, I have to say. Hey, Eric, did you know what the dark looked like? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean. Uh, oh, fuck. It's, it's, it's as if I never spent a long weekend at my uncle's house locked in the tool shed while he did unspeakable things. I know what the dark looks like. I've seen it. I don't need this broad to turn the lights off. Other than people's phones and lights being shown right now, we see the that fact too. that it's cloudy here, that it is overcast, is really not bothering anybody one bit. I'm going to put my glasses on for a second just to be extra safe. I'm going to look up. Ah. I mean, it is phenomenal to feel this. And this I like because you can actually see it. And, you know, a lot of these clips that are about to come up, our audio audience isn't going to miss anything because you're not no. going to see anything. In no, 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 no. The, they've got like this shot. One of them you'll see they cut to like a, a shot from NASA. They do a picture in a picture. They're like, well, our guy's not going to get it. Let's just use the the official eclipse cam. And the energy right now is giving us a little bit of a show. You can just tell every time we get a little bit of a of a glimpse of it. People here get so excited. But I can tell you the biggest feeling that I have right now is just that temperature drop and the energy that is coming from the community here. So she's telling us what it's like to be in the dark and uh, when it gets colder. I'm so glad that this lady is reporting live from Del Rio, Texas to tell us uh, all that. Uh, you know, my glasses don't seem to be the right prescription. What a dust cloud right there, Eric. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he means by this. Uh, dust cloud writes, it's as dark as getting on the train on 125th Street. Uh, I, I, I don't even know what city that could be yeah, referencing. I must I'm, be I'm in not, a tunnel. I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, let us uh, let me give you a little bit more of what I'm uh, talking about. This is from Mountain View, Missouri, another place that uh, Eric made the right call and deciding not to uh, drive to. And uh, we're going to hear that uh, there's some amazing things in front of the reporter, but um, fuck if I'm going to see any of it. 
Yeah. So uh, it's a it's a different kind of clip. So I have to show it the other way. Do we did we get any super chats? I don't think so. I was going to tell you to read. Me? Them. No, we we I, the goal is zero dollars. So, well, um, so sorry. sorry. Some dude is a member now. That's all I was going to say. I know some dude is a member. Like, yeah, it's, whatever. It's, it's his username is some dude. Hey, he's a member. Well, yeah, that's true. That doesn't help us. It only helps Carl. So yeah, nobody. Um, everybody is. I think they collude that try to keep us under a certain dollar amount every time either that or they wait to the end uh and it's all good because that means more jokes for people like brian johnson who who makes <laughs> hilarious jokes about us because we never get any money on this goddamn show all you losers uh love it when people like toe jam or whatever the fuck his name is hey has- steel toe who's who's by the way not doing his show with his wife anymore <laughs> the, the stupid dummy actually puts a, a plate out and says, pay me, and you morons pay him. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, no, exactly. Look, I would say, you know, Eric Zane and I, we're already ninja rich. We don't need your money, all right? <laughs> fuck your money. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I'm talking about from Mountain View, Missouri. And uh, like I said, this reporter's probably seeing something great, but uh, I think it might get lost in translation. Okay, so the Bailey's beads are going to be popping up here very, very shortly. Wow. And there it is. There's the diamond ring is effect. Is There's that really the total a diamond ring? eclipse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is absolutely There's something there. Stunning. Is there? Where's the lens I, I unfortunately on. missed I can't out tell on the difference. The total eclipse. Was, it's gone. Back now. in 2017, we were at 99.99% at the station. And yeah. this, I tell you what, guys. Oh. Wait, it changed kind of to like emotional. gray. It is a ah! beautiful oh, almost. thing to Starting see. To oh my goodness. It is crying. so beautiful. Oh, amazing. I know we're trying. Okay. There it is. There it is. So we, I know we were Took moving forever, around you some idiots. of the filters as well. I love the guy in the studio. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, there it is. You were talking about something. And uh, this guy just needed to, oh, there's a, there's a tilt on this camera. I just need to point it up at the sky. Oh, should yeah. I be pointing at the sky? He was, he was aiming at his shoes. <laughs> Stupid idiot. God damn. <laughs> that is so, incredible. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it is cool when you get to see it. Oh, hey, it looks like we got some money from Dang Lizard. Go ahead and uh, hit that yeah. one for us. You're Dang Lizard is usually very stingy with the yeah. money on the show, by the uh, way. Throw two euros. Is that euros? Uh, oh. Yes, those are euros. I, Christian, use the eclipse to take some kids. <laughs> I like that it's kids with a Z because clearly they didn't want him to say the the regular way. Uh, All right. Uh, So (laughs) let's see. So I want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I got distracted by the idea of what Ding Lizard was suggesting. So when we hear about people getting together to do this, there's some interesting activities. And uh, here in Missouri, uh, I think that uh, some of the people there might be missing the point of the totality and the darkness. Emotional experience when you're able to experience 100%. What's it like to be able to take the glasses off? And we kind of heard the cheer behind you uh, when you were talking us through it. Oh, yes. I think they're shooting off fireworks, believe it or not. <laughs> well, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, yep. Those would be fireworks. Uh- do you think that that's what you should do during the eclipse? Is like, oh, it's so cool that it's dark. Hey, let's uh, let's get some light. Going. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to hit the lights. What the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah, well, there's there, you know none of us can see, but let's light off some firecrackers, and I'm sure that uh, not, what's the worst that could happen, Eric? Yeah, exactly. I, I that would I, that would actually piss me off. Uh, who would do that? And three uh, D says Trump voters. <laughs> well, I. I I think that uh, you could be right. You could be wrong. I don't even want to weigh in on that. So uh, apparently some people could see Venus, but uh, I don't know. I guess uh, cameras can't see Venus. Wow. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, Just wait. Holy. This part's cool. It gets Legitimate. better. Wow. Don't take your better. glasses off wow. yet. Not yet. Not yet. There it is. Yes. Here we go. Almost. Oh, man. I'm going to come. And there's Bailey's beads. <laughs> My God. Oh, wow. Bailey's Got beads. It. We're in totality. There it is. Okay, we also have Venus. The planet Venus is visible right now. Wow. Off to the bottom right. So uh, apparently they see Venus. 
But uh, other than blinding those of us who were looking at the camera, you know, looking at the image from the camera, uh, there's no Venus anywhere. I don't I don't think I missed it. No, you know? <laughs> and, and it's pointless to even bring it up. I mean, here you have this this uh, this astronomical rarity. And yeah. she wants to point out something that's a that's a pinprick on the screen. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, uh, this uh, this is in Cleveland, and uh, they want to tell us more things that they see and we don't. Look at that! The I did not see this when I was a kid. <laughs> I, don't, I, this I do cool. not remember this. Yeah, oh, <laughs> so we this Look is this. just so stunning. So, so we can not see the planet Venus. Jupiter is up here to the upper left oh, of the moon. Yep. yep. And if we were going to get to see. And look, flying in front of the moon, yeah. it's Superman. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going to just have to take your word for it. <laughs> oh, fuck. JFK uh, Headchunk with a gathering of empty lives. <laughs> Stop. And, yeah. You're not at all wrong. Look, 350 couples. So I guess 700 people got married because they needed something to fill their lives with. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't right. I can't uh judge the people though because no. I, if I had the opportunity I would have been there. I would have no, been no. there screaming. It's this coverage that's ridiculous. The, the yes, it's the coverage of us not seeing things that uh makes this all enjoyable for uh, every single one of us. Uh this is from Fredericksburg, Texas. And uh, at least some of the local news personalities realize that this isn't translating well to television. Listen to this. <laughs> yep. Listen. We're listening. <laughs> you want to talk about it? Anything? Well, they're just sitting there staring. They're in awe. Well, I hope you can hear all that and hear what I am hearing. Yeah, well, because we sure as hell can't yeah, see can't what you're seeing. Yeah, see scared. anything. Yeah, yeah they, uh, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but uh, not when the picture is, uh, you know, just pointing directly at the black sky where there's nothing to actually see. And uh this it's interesting because what I learned from that same live shot, not from that moment. Hey, look, it's a celebrity. It's Stevie tomato. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, I know Carl can't go there anymore, but uh, if you, you ever want to send me some gift certificates, I, I will fly to Cape Coral just to eat at Stevie tomatoes for free. I know it doesn't seem to make sense, but I would do it. Stevie writes, love the show guys, especially the racist stuff. What do you I mean? don't know. I don't know what that's all about. That, yeah, that sounds I, strange. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. He must be watching uh, the creep off. That probably has a lot yeah. of stuff on it. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, m might have to check it off the podcast or off the sh uh, stream. If you can grab the RCG TV eclipse clip, Google it. It's worth it. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll do my best to try and find it, but uh, we're, we we've got to, we're knee deep in uh, clips. Yeah, we're almost, no. we're almost through the eclipse, but I do want to see that if a uh, principal uncertainty thinks it's worth seeing, I want to mention it and look at it. I'd like to preview it. I, but uh, even if we got Rick rolled, that would be on us. So the thing that I learned from this live shot in Texas is that apparently in some of these places, there's so much crowd co cloud cover that uh, you actually barely see it. And I, I thought like, oh my God, they drove all this way because uh, what we're going to see in this clip is the entire viewing that uh, this group of people was able to see. Okay, just got the clouds. And you're hearing that cheer because for just a moment, and you can see it from our camera now, <laughs> the clouds have parted just enough. So that was it. That's what they got to see. <laughs> they stayed out there all day. And uh, it was about uh, about six seconds of uh, getting to see it. And, oh, what yeah, a again. bummer. Well, you know, there there were people that traveled a uh, long ways to get there. Yeah. Uh, what I would be something if there was the one person who just wasn't paying attention to what was going on in the world and was driving down the road in one of these areas, and it just suddenly got so goddamn, I would have crashed. I had a heart attack. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> 
Well, uh, the the audience might uh, have had their fill of eclipse talk, and uh, don't don't worry, it's it's starting to wind down. But uh, there is a reporter in Niagara Falls who, after you hear these clips, you are certain she's still talking about it today on the news on her phone. She's probably got a blog. Strangers line to check out. Now this chick is all in. I think the eclipse might even make her a little wet. So it's getting, it's like night, it's like dawn right now. What a strange <laughs> feeling this is. And the crowd is reacting. My husband never makes me feel this way. This is such a magical moment. Oh, she's gushing. You, yep. you feel it in every sense. Uh oh every cell She's got the tingles down low. Oh, it's like somebody God. turned the lights out. Let me bring in this family that we have here from a Oh, she's going to sit on a child's face. <laughs> so funny that you say that because of a clip we have for later. Uh, but um, <laughs> it, which is not what it sounds like, everyone. I know, what, I know what you're referring you know, to. You, you know exactly what I'm referring to. Uh, yeah. So uh, this uh, reporter, I believe, is about to meet her intellectual equal. They traveled here all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, and this is um, actually Audrey's second eclipse. Audrey, um, second all. Oh my gosh, you just experienced. No, we're in totality right now. Tell me what it's like to wow. experience this with your kid. It's it's kind of overwhelming. Um, we're with all the cloud cover. We don't really get to see what I had seen in 2017, which. Yeah. So there's uh, that contingency. Oh yeah, yeah. The last one was better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's also like we just. We just got tag teamed by the eclipse. Wasn't it amazing? Should we smoke a cigarette? Eh, you know, I've I've had better. Oh, but my uh, God. she's going to talk to the rest of the family, and this is the key interaction. It was this burning white ring in the sky, but it's still like you can feel the awesomeness of we nature. Can feel it, right? We yeah. can see it, but we can feel it. You this. can feel it. What does it feel like to you? just feel like the connection of the whole universe sort oh, of come on. you really put me on the spot behind us Audrey. I mean, you just you can feel see so the lights you can see the breaks in the clouds and the, the colors girls what do you think of these colors in the sky they're just so magical oh. right i mean we're in the <laughs> just her response of, right i just hate it when oh kids talk God. i hate it i hate it when kids talk and i hate with when adults talk like kids what are you doing? <laughs> Dark suddenly. How did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I don't know either, but isn't it a great feeling? Yeah. Yeah, she's nine. She doesn't need to know, but uh she's gonna say, well, the the sun it was blocked by the moon, you stupid bitch. <laughs> you're you're the reporter covering the eclipse. You should have, I don't know, maybe a guess. You know, that's really uh, all it is. But um we have well, uh, a quick uh follow up on that but uh if you wanted to chime in with something yeah uh yeah. hamilton burger sends us some uh, canadian cash to all the hardcore christians the rapture did in fact occur during the solar eclipse but none of you made the cut <laughs> better luck next time and <laughs> burger ah, i love that that's a that's a great one right now that's our uh that's our big ticket uh super chat so uh i could be saying that at the end of the show unless uh Dang lizard finds some extra change in the uh, couch cushions. Uh, all right. I I love to hate that last reporter so much. I have a little bit more with her in the same family. Oh, oh, look at that. oh my gosh. We can see the rays. We can see the rays. Okay, look up. You don't need the glasses. Just look this up. is amazing. Can we just turn off the lights, guys? Because I think it's blocking no, some of our view, but we can before. see the corona. <laughs> There was a little There's tiny, a little bit of a corona. right? We got to see at least a second of it, and that was so worth it, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh. So, do you think that uh, this reporter tried to be like, "Hey, should we like do each other's hair? Talk about the boys we like? I mean, uh, do you want to you want to go to the food court at the mall?" Uh, <laughs> yeah, this makes me not like any of the. It just now I feel bad. That, that, well, that there's a reason. There's a reason why it's towards the end. Oh. And uh, <laughs> Reverend, Reverend Shitstain, powerful pooper, who, of course, was on our show last week. And uh, he'll be back with us again in a couple of weeks. Please, no more Eclipse Prods putting on 
UWU voice. Is that uh, something I'm missing? It's just I, I don't know is what that, that is. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think he's smarter than us on his comedy today. I, I think he absolutely is. So look, some places weren't really in the viewing path for ideal watching of the eclipse, but that did not stop uh -huh. them from having what looks like just a wild and crazy time. I mean, I'm it's a word I don't usually use, but uh, look how Philly made this watch party turnt have lots of people hanging out and this is a tenth of the amount of people that came out so not only so for our audio audience uh we basically got the next generation of crisscross on the steps and a uh very bored teenager <laughs> on her iphone maybe instagramming yeah i guess i'm on some dumb live yeah and, and, a, and a, a rapist and some chick some old yeah. fat lady Actually, and, that's uh, Robin Quivers. Uh, you okay, might not recognize her. She doesn't have the glasses on. <laughs> and they said this is a tenth of the people yeah. that were down here. So they had uh, 50? Th <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and that's uh, basically <laughs> the big turnout there. Yeah. Holy shit. We have a DJ. We have people dancing. We still have yes, there is everyone a out with their solar eclipse glasses because we are not quite done with the event just yet, although we are, are on sure? the other side <laughs> of its peak like the intensity, which occurred at done. three. You're yeah. pretty done. <laughs> you're you're saying are... you're not quite done, but uh, the crowd tells me. Some of the biggest slobs in America, though. It's Philly. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, hey, you know, unless they want a WATB live show, then uh, I will yeah. talk uh, all, all the nice things about uh, Philly. All right. So we've got uh, one more clip after this. Uh, look, emotionally, I'm a child. This just made me laugh out loud because of the way that this turn of phrase happened. And I pulled it to see if this is going to make Eric chuckle or he's just like, you jerk off. Dark hole. I, I won't call it a black hole because it's very different in astronomy, but a dark hole where the moon is and then around it, this ring of fiery uh silvery light so it's a dark hole right where the moon is <laughs> and there's fiery light but uh it's all right you did not appreciate that the way i did is what you're saying no no i i i you know it no i didn't i didn't at all no look just be honest <laughs> but look if we're gonna talk about a solar eclipse there is only one clip that we probably needed to show from the last one this is how a real man handles a solar eclipse. Photos of Trump both with his glasses on and looking directly at the eclipse Monday. Oh. Eclipse. And President Trump was among them. The only difference is he became an instant meme in doing so. Photos of Trump both with his glasses on and looking directly at the eclipse without the glasses. A move many cautioned was extreme. <laughs> I mean, there he is. <laughs> looking straight up at the eclipse. Oh, I love it. I love it. And by the way, he I, I saw a different version. He actually puts the glasses on after he's already looked at it. He's like, oh, I'm just going to put these on for the photo op, you know? Like, yeah. When he got out of the hospital after having had COVID, he's like, oh, I guess going to put this stupid mask on uh, just to take it off. All right. Yeah, well, <sighs> especially when he went to the top of the steps and he took it off and looked yeah. all defiant. He should have yeah. done that with this, too. Yeah. Uh, allegedly. Someone on his staff had to talk him out of uh, having a Superman shirt under there and uh, opening his shirt and showing it off. But uh, I can neither Good confirm nor days. deny. Good time. So that uh, was some amazing time spent on the eclipse. And uh, I have to salute the entire WATB news team that uh, really uh, covered that so well for us. Uh, we want to move on to uh, something that is probably – equally if not more annoying for uh, people to watch in our audience. Eric, how do you feel about April Fool's Day? Uh, you know, I just know it's there. I don't do anything with it. No one ever pranks me. I don't have any friends. <laughs> that goes a long way. But, uh, you know, wouldn't it, it wouldn't it have been funny if, like, me and you did uh, Who Are These Socials and Carl and Blind Mike did uh, Who Are These Broadcasts? We switched and we pretended that's like, yep, this is the way it is. And then in the middle, we come out and like, ah, we got you. April right. Fool. Right. Yes. Yeah, that would have been good, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. All right. So uh, next year. Uh, anyway, I know uh, we've done a show since April Fool's Day, but uh, 
I needed I needed to let the clips sit on the vine and ripen. Uh, they uh, there weren't nearly enough of them in time for last week. And our first is a very specific kind of April Fool's Day clip. This is uh, where they do a roundup of like, oh, and here's some zany posts from around town and throughout the community. This one is from San Antonio, Texas. Some pretty interesting announcements today. <laughs> the Bear County Sheriff's Office posted this on Facebook saying they're launching the BCSO Space Force. They say the first deputy to patrol Bear County from outer space will be Deputy April Fuller. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a good pretty one. good. I so I think you might understand why I pulled that. And it wasn't until the guy, <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> April Fuller, because it, it sounds like April Fool's, Eric. Oh, okay. See, yeah, I, yeah, didn't yeah. Even, I didn't even pick that. I didn't even catch it. Oh, it was it, too funny for you. No, it was too inside, I guess. Oh, God. I, I guess. Yeah. April Fuller. Well, oh, I well. never I, I never get these. I always have to have people <laughs> explain the shit to me. And that that's, it goes for, like, jokes, too. I'm just I'm just San Antonio out, out Zoo playing with the heart. Yeah. of San Antonio, so is announcing the return of the sky ride. Now, this wasn't fair. No. All too many people loved this when they were kids. The zoo's president and CEO says he's asked almost daily about the sky ride. Now he says the ride will connect the zoo to Breckenridge Park and the... So, uh, a place that uh, often gets requests for something it doesn't have anymore is like, yeah, 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 we're going to bring that thing back. No, fuck you, we're not bringing it back. April Fool's. So basically, April Fool's Day is just lie on TV. Make up a yeah. crazy lie and just do it. Yeah, exactly. Like Pearl. Six Flags. And Six Flags Fiesta Texas says they're going to be putting some shade over their park. They posted this picture today saying the structure will cover the entire park. That would be a great. That would be great. One, when yeah. I was on the radio one time, we said that they've implemented a new a uh, feature on the traffic lights that if you're there and no one's at the light, you can stick your head out the window and yell, turn green and they'll turn green. And so every asshole we had, we wanted people to test them. So we wouldn't believe people were calling up and you put them on the radio and say, yeah. all right, and they're, they're doing it. It ain't yeah. working. Well, you got to get out of your car. So we're, <laughs> we're doing all this stupid shit. People believe it. <laughs> Sir, what neighborhood are you in? Oh, uh, can you do a black voice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to work better there. Yeah. Well, uh, San Antonio wasn't the only place that wanted to uh, keep tabs on all the fun and games going on. Uh, this is a station in Maine. See, also announcing that they're adding pepper into their salt brine. They say the salt and pepper has proven to be a good anti-icing solution. A chain restaurant is coming to Portland. Portland Old Port announced that Hooters will be located in the former dry dock restaurant space. So, first of all, I mean, adding pepper to your uh, rock salt, uh, I mean, right. I, I, I don't know. I think I thought about that the first time I ever saw rock salt. But, uh, you know, kudos to whoever went up with that. And I, don't, I just don't get it. Maybe somebody in Maine is watching. What's right. funny about a Hooters opening? I mean, apart from their marginal service and the, the, the bad food and the fact that they have to hire dudes now, you know, I mean, it's it, it really cheapened the experience, Eric. Yeah, I don't. I I'm lost too. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what else is going on there. And Dunkin' Donuts will no longer be Dunkin'. Instead, they have announced on Instagram that they are changing their name to Donuts. But before you get too excited, we wanted to let you all know that these are all April Fool's jokes. Those were good because you almost got me there. Yes. The whole reason I showed that is her. <laughs> Those were good because you almost got me there. Uh, Oh, it's so I, I don't doubt it. It's so <laughs> awkward. God, it's more awkward than this show. <laughs> well, that's, and then look, we know that that's saying something. Well, I've actually, in doing my research for this segment, our April Fool's segment, I came across something that I think is probably going to become a, a treasure trove of bad broadcasting, providing many clips for this show. I would like to submit for your approval Daily Blast Live a nationally syndicated morning talk show. It's like sort of like the Today Show meets a wacky morning zoo. Uh, it's probably not entirely dissimilar from the insane asylum, but, you know, maybe just with more people. Okay, sure. <laughs> but uh, so they've got a, a fairly diverse group of hosts with some really big personalities, and uh, they're going to kind of pull on this thread 
from what we were just talking about, some of the brands, what brands have going on for April, April 1st, Fools. which means for a lot of brands that they're putting all of their best pranks uh, for April Fool's Day, like 7-Eleven. Here's what they're doing. They are introducing the world to its hot oh. dog flavored sparkling water. Yep, some people bought it. Like I like how they put it on the rotisserie it. thing. That was, that was great. Uh -huh. Yeah, we saw. Also, Olipop <laughs> got in on it by uh, having their flavored water joke with their Pringles sour cream and this onion flavor collaboration. Ask, is this I just would... a can or is this a real thing that you can buy? I would... oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that asshole. You're, 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 you're going to see a theme because I've got a few clips from this show. Uh, there's somebody that uh, might not get everything that's going on on the show. And um, our chat might have some opinions as to what the reason might be. But uh, I, don't, I don't see anything that would make me think that perhaps this gentleman uh, doesn't have the sense of humor the uh, others do. Put it online and then people really did believe I'm it sure if you read the comments. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then foreign language learning app Rosetta Stone is introducing Rosetta Stoned, a stoner language translation app. Oh. Uh, did we uh, fritz out? Uh, did I? Did your mic go out? I, I expected at least three laughs. Oh right! Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no! God, it's so painful. It's so tough to even to even muscle through the clips. Uh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a bit of a this is a bit of a of a slog. I guess it's a bit of a glutton for punishment. How do you feel about office pranks, though, Eric? You know, I mean, if you worked in an office around other people, well, uh, would you would you be playing them? Would you be happy if somebody pulled one on you? Um, I think I could if it was if it was well done and I was the butt of it, I could laugh at it. Yes. What if um, it was an office prank where Carl got hurt? Uh, no, I wouldn't like that. I don't oh. want to see Carl hurt. Some people might, but okay. I don't I don't want to see Carl get what, injured. No. What if what if Hackride was injured? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Him and that potato piece of shit. Yeah, I, I, fuck uh, those guys. Season desist. I, I, uh, I'm a big fan of the potato. Well, let's hear about the fun that they have at the Daily Blast Live offices. Here to tell us about it is gay Eric Zane. Me scaring you? That's Did what I have. Oh, up? Yeah, <laughs> I, great. Just dying. Oh, here we go. Oh, Here's a couple of them. <laughs> 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 oh my god. That's okay, so gay me is just putting on a stupid mask. He does look like no, a gay version of me. He just stands behind no. a trash can and yells, Rawr! Oh, that's it? Yes. Oh, Jesus, what an asshole. And this is just like, you know, many days. This is not April Fool's Day. He just does it all the time. And uh I, I, by the way, uh, gay Eric Zane does not have as good a hair as actual Eric Zane. I think that's, yeah, important. I know, but he's got more of a jawline. Yeah. So, oh, uh, Matthew Zizzo does make the point Eric Zane is gay Eric Zane. I uh, <laughs> wasn't hoping that anybody came chimed in with that. The Dave said gay Eric Zane is redundant. Dave, who uh, we're going to be seeing a little bit later in this show, actually, he's got a, he's got a game for us, which we'll talk about uh, in a little bit. Well, no morning team, <laughs> sorry, Hamilton Burger, the in-gain asylum. And of course, Erica Zane, oh, that, which is what Stuttering John would call you if he knew who you were, you know? All right. That's all right. I like it. I like it. Yeah. No, Erica Zane is a good one. Uh, so no morning show would uh, be complete without a, a quirky British chick. And she wants to make sure everybody knows she's a quirky British trick. Um she uh, plays a clip from the BBC from a few years ago. This clip isn't about the clip. It's about someone's reaction to the clip. Being British, I've got to mention the good old BBC. They had a brilliant one. What? Telling people that penguins could fly. Shut Look up. at this. Oh, they evolved. This aired Evelyn. in 2008, and it was a fake nature clip. I mean, oh look at gosh. this. Oh, my gosh. People bought it. I would have bought it. I oh, if the oh. BBC played it, I would be all in on this. Yeah. Penguins can't fly at all. Uh -uh. Oh! Yeah, turkeys get a little bit of air. Yeah, but it's for under the water why they have those fins. I never put that together until right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what a ninja. I <laughs> my whole life like, well, you just got these extra flappers. I forgot about the whole water thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 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 Right. I was today years old. Oh, okay. What an asshole. Well, yeah. So I, I think that uh, what Zane's trying to say that it's something called ninja logic that uh, is being applied here. And he's like, yeah, I forgot uh, that. Uh, yeah, they would use those for the for the water. 
fucking idiot. <sighs> well, I want to quit. It's like, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I really enjoyed getting to spend time with the gang from Daily Blast Live, and uh, I uh, might be checking them out uh, multiple times uh, each month because, uh, oh, the enjoyment they provided, but it was uh, all unintentional. Without you know, any, a doubt. None of their bits actually worked. Well, no. Uh, so, so the uh, Fort Worth Sheriff's Office decided to have a little fun, and they did a video prank uh, for something called a walking speed trap. And uh, we'll we'll talk our audio audience through it a little bit. Okay, gentlemen, set up in the park. People, I points the speed gun at him. Okay, here they come. He's got the speed gun. But he's like, what's the point? He's fine. 107 mph. Everybody's like, what? Oh. <laughs> What are they laughing at? What are these people laughing at? Well, I, I did want to point out that we have the sound effects and uh, we also have the laugh track. And now we know that laugh tracks are used okay. for people who are too stupid to laugh, but also when there's something that's not even remotely worth laughing at. Okay. You know, there's, and, and I think this might be both. <laughs> you know, I this, was, this it, is a, uh, do I, am I kind of a dunce for thinking there was like a live studio audience watching this? Is that, I, yeah. I think that's pretty stupid. Yes, that is pretty stupid actually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I saw it first on a website and then I actually went to the uh, Fort Worth Sheriff's office. Uh, they posted it on Twitter and it still had all the laughs and everything. So I thought that there might've been a chance. So as much as I want to call you stupid, yeah. I did think like, why would you add that? That's really what it was. I didn't understand why that would be there to begin with. I, I think even a bigger question, why even do this in the first place? Right. What a waste of time and energy. Well, the comments underneath it are, uh, I hope the sheriff's office did this off duty. Right. And things like, oh, is this what our tax dollars are going to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of Stupid, course. Not funny video. Right. And I think that that's, that's fair, you know? Do something else other than this shit, idiot. <laughs> has, uh, has that clip made you more angry than some of the others, or is it all about the same at this point? Yeah, you've uh, I've pretty much everything you've played, I wanted to, I wanted to kill you. I, <laughs> they, they've well, made me so angry. I, I appreciate that. Well, you know, I talked about sort of a wacky idea. You know, uh, Kimmel and Fallon one year, they switched shows on April Fool's Day. They did each other's shows. And uh, this is uh, Rockford, Illinois, where we uh, saw something uh, very similar happen. But uh, you're going to see the keen improv schools, uh, the keen improv skills of the uh, the news team uh, when it appears that the local radio duo has taken over the local news it's time to take a break and enjoy a cup of a 23 morning blend and good morning welcome to monday a little bit after nine o'clock this is the 23 morning blend i am Ugh. steve summers got a great day planned for you in the state line let's find out what mother nature has in store for us with ryan sartori yeah, steve yeah. essentially Wacky weather guy it's gonna rain is is the forecast for today after a great easter weekend it's going to be soggy all day long, and we're actually uh, forecasting uh, your coffee this morning as well. We are suggesting that you make it a double, be that with alcohol in there or not. That's what we're suggesting. Very wacky. I thought maybe you were commenting on my wait, drinking wait, abilities. Wait, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 what's going on up? here? I think the gig is up, Summers. Well, have you not seen the memo yet, Aaron? Uh, no. There's a reason why Andy's not here as well. Should You've I be not worried? seen this memo? No. Yeah. Oh, well, well you know. times are changing, sir. <laughs> a lot of change so has mad. been happening in television in Rockford, and so I thought maybe you got the memo on this already. I'm so sorry to tell you, but... We have to tell them, Ryan, together. Ready? One, two, three. April Fool's! Ah, yeah. Yeah. You thought you were <laughs> well yeah. done. Yeah, 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 yeah. High five through the screen. Well what? done, Steve. Uh, yeah. You got me. <laughs> oh. There's more to this clip. I, I am here. I am here, too. Yes, a nice little April Fool's joke played by our friends at the Bowl on this Monday, April 1st. 
Oh. Thank you, Steve and Ryan. I'm Andy Gannon. Oh, 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 oh no. I, I knew how much you were going to hate that clip. Oh, but more than no. anything, I knew how much you were going to want to punch Andy Gannon in the face. Yeah, Andy yeah, Gannon. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, we so had the... some fun, oh. but there's weather out our window that we do need to talk about. Oh, that was painful holy shit if uh if you got asked to do that to, you know like hey can your uh you know the team from your radio show take over yeah. the local newscast yeah uh what would your answer be i'd say <laughs> fuck yes i would absolutely do it just too. because there's a great opportunity for this to happen yeah you know oh gosh, uh yeah. that we can be featured on and be made fun of i mean that's that's God, everything about that, those two radio guys, the first guy looked like he was a fucking drug addict. The second oh, guy, yeah. he just looked like a big fucking piece of shit. And then the, the awkward hey, exchange. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you just describe this show? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair. And then the, 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 okay, all right, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love Andy Gannon, and, and uh, I've jotted his name down. I hope to get more clips of him in the future. <sighs> Uh, sometimes these uh, these bits where they uh, try to you know prank the people on the air are so long and incredibly drawn out. The payoff is never worth it. So this is a Canadian morning show we've watched before, and they've been joined by a guy who is a self-proclaimed plant expert, and he evaluates the host plants that they brought in. They brought in their house plants. He's giving them advice like, oh, they should listen to this kind of music. Oh, this one seems like it's in a bad mood. And, you know, they're sort of like, oh, OK. But, you know, they're basically in it. But uh, don't worry, Eric. The payoff is coming right here. And it's all worth it. Might. Uh... Sorry. Getting emotional there, Doug. Yeah. Um. Well, this one lives in the teenager's room. You yeah, know this, what I'm is saying? A, this is a little difficult. <laughs> I'm <laughs> taking some. This is not the one I'm caring for. This is. um. Meredith, does this does this plant share any 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 soil with any other plants? Maybe a, what we call a bully plant, which is a plant that absorbs all the nutrients that this plant needs, like a, a cactus that's with a dark uh, past or, or something. I, um, I don't know if I have a cactus with a dark past. I don't know. Or maybe uh, a fern that's that's seen too much. A f <laughs> I, I, uh, it, 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 there are other plants around this plant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Go sorry. Ahead. Yeah. Just. Um, Sometimes, oh. even he's not going to commit to the pit. He's like, I sometimes uh, around this time of year, these plants can um, can have a really hard time, especially you know the beginning of April, especially um, the first of April, <laughs> folks. <laughs> April Fools, are you kidding me? <laughs> Woo! Are you serious? I'm just a guy. Thank goodness, because I was like, <laughs> Doug. <laughs> This guy's beside oh my gosh. Yeah, he's he's actually mad. Well, done it. Yes. The he's camera's there, there. That's pretty that's, well, that's, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's pretty good. Oh, oh my No, it's God. not. Good. not good at all. Is your yeah. name Doug? No, no, it's what? not. <laughs> what is your name, sir? My name is uh, Gavin Pounds. I'm a member of Second City's <laughs> touring <laughs> company. So it all makes sense. It's a guy from the improv troupe who oh. uh uh, I mean, he looks and sounds like Tom Green. So uh, yeah, that's there's the probably... vibe I got. I got the I got a Tom Green vibe too, and he's Canadian, so he's probably gonna draw like uh, uh, some lesbians on the hood of his mom and dad's car. And I mean, look, Eric, we should we should be so lucky that uh, he did anything like that. Uh, well, you know, as you go around your city, a lot of times what you can do is you can uh, ask people what they think about April Fool's Day. This year, April Fool's Day was the day after Easter. So as uh, Sacramento reporter Mark S. Allen found out, um, the pickings were pretty slim on the light rail, but uh, he did the best he could. Yoon Kim. So Yoon, do they practice April Fool's in South Korea? Like in South Korea, do they play jokes? I think so. Has anyone ever played a joke on you? No, I didn't, but I'm pretty interested. Have you ever played a joke on anybody? Um, I think my friend, Okay, all right, all right. Well, today I want to give you the gift that keeps on giving. Reach into here and grab anything you want. Anything okay. you want from the back. Go deep. Picture, 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 Picture. Kim Jong-un. Okay, I got this one. Okay, now let's not get a close-up, but he's got some fake poo. Some fake poo to give you your friends later on. Put right. that on your boss's desk. 
The oh. only thing that would make this payoff was if he's like, actually, I'm pranking you right now. I don't talk like that even a little <laughs> bit, you know. Uh, and it turned out it was actually our buddy Brock Lee, who I know I've already mentioned on this episode. But, uh, well, oh, but we, Pete, I'm sorry, I got to jump in. Yeah. Oh, we got ahead of ourselves. The previous chick who got pranked by the poverty Tom Green, <laughs> Ma Matthew Zizzo described her as she has one wide ass tit, which... <laughs> Look, he's uh, he's not wrong. Uh, uh, so that was great. And then Terry Lynn Morse code through two bucks <laughs> at us. Raise raise hand if you think I'm pretty. Feeling down. Well, I don't know. What do you look like? What the fuck? Vince, Vince, I know you have more than two dollars. Uh, okay. So uh, if if you yeah, we'll we'll read your super chats. But uh, go ahead and give us a little more. Uh oh, dang lizard with six euros. That's more than dollars. Right. So I, Christian Blatt, enjoy tiny dark holes more than Eric Zane. And remember, kids, it's okay to take them against their will if you just yell April Fools. Uh, something tells me now that no one's going to outbid that chat just for the sake of uh, having me uh, read it. Well, Eric, that clip from Sacramento reporter Mark S. Allen was not particularly funny. But don't worry. I found a really funny clip from Sacramento reporter Mark S. Allen. I may recall in September of 2006, I received a DUI. At that time, I didn't consider alcohol to be a problem in my life, but it became a problem. And this last December, I received my second DUI. Oh. And for that, I want to tell the community, my friends and family and station management, I am so sorry. Oh. I've let you all down in a multitude of ways. Well, I want you to know that I'm committed to making a fresh start. I've completed a month-long program helping me achieve and maintain sobriety. And I'm telling you this because if you or someone you love has ever considered they have a problem with alcohol, there is no shame in tackling it head on. It'll be the best thing that you or they have ever done. Don't wait. My next step is a hard one. I decided to hang up my good day hat. Yes, I let it go that long because in part of his explanation, I've decided to hang up my good day hat. Yes, the show was called Good Day Sacramento. Oh, and, that was... Uh, what a... <laughs> so fucking terrible. And, it, and it's interesting because in the more recent clip, uh, his hair looks like yours. And in that one, it looks like mine. So uh, yeah, I, I hope that he's maintained his sobriety. For I his know. Sake and his family. I hope not. <laughs> well... I think that uh, if he was drinking a little, that uh, that sketch on the light rail would have actually been at least a little bit more entertaining. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Vince. Uh, I, you know, when you pay attention and you mentioned that uh, Vince the loser, if I'll tell you what, I would be happy to uh, go to whatever network just as soon as you post photos of yourself without your hat on. Uh, that's what I think everybody wants to see. America doesn't care if we're on the Shuley Network or who are these podcasts. We'll have the same marginal audience wherever we are. But Absolutely. If America gets to see you with your hat off, uh, there'll be something to be said for that. So the last clip in this segment, I'm not going to lie, Eric, I don't hate this one because of the amount of effort that went into this and the fact that it's not worth it but someone or a group of people still took the time to do this. This is at an airport. I think it's Dallas, Fort Worth. Get creative when it comes to April Fool's Day jokes. Here's a sticky situation in Texas. Dallas, Fort Worth International Airport posting wow. this video online showing post-it notes on the airplane, including a message. We've heard of the sticky note office prank on April Fool's Day, but this just went too far. That takes a lot of time. No, no kidding. That's the yeah. whole point. But I'm like, you know what, whoever, you know, I'm sure they were on the clock when they did it. But I just the idea that somebody had to walk by and like, you you putting post-it notes on the plane? Yeah. OK, so yeah, just let them do it. The question is, would anything happen if you tried to take off with the plane doing that? I think they would just fall off like the posters would just fall on the ground. Right. I mean, it's it's not really anything we have to worry about. I, I, I don't know about that. Uh those won't get into the end journey. Yeah, I'm sure that they would. <laughs> okay. Not, not JFK that chunk, it. yeah. Oh. oh boy, that re that reminds me of the the one guy we covered on this show months ago who uh, wandered around out onto the tarmac. Uh, he definitely got posted 
Post thank it. you. Noted. Thank you to the United Negro College Fund for sending two dollars our way. And they write thanks to all your uh black fans for the donations. Yeah, I think we have okay. We have I, think, I, I can I tell think they would say African American, wouldn't they? Well, no, that organization is still called that, though. That's actually still the name. They well, just I usually that, abbreviate it UNCF. Wouldn't they say thanks to all your African American fans? Look, we we have people from Jamaica who like us too. You know, I think uh, I think it's all right. Well, Eric, we're going to move on from our April Fool's Day segment and visit the world of talk shows. I said, can you dig it? I think so. Now who are these talk shows? Just who are these talk shows? But um, uh, it might be uh, eight days late. This is my April Fool's Day joke to you. Because talk shows do April Fool's Day gags too. Here's one from the Tamron Hall show. That it's your, who had the baby? Because I'm confused. You had. So she's got these uh, two large women on stage. And uh, this is a daytime talk show where they usually talk about what she considers important issues. Wait, that it's your, who had the baby? Because I'm confused. You had the baby. Mm-hmm. Recently, so recently, recently had the baby. You think that incident may have resulted in your pregnancy? Perhaps. I, myself, I'm a single woman. Could have been him. Could have been another man. None of anybody's business. Okay, well, None I'm, of your wait, business. Wait, 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 a woman wait, wait. about okay. town all wait, wait, of a sudden. Wait, 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 please, please, okay. I don't even know how this happened. Here's the deal. I will never, I, I am so sorry. I've done this show. I will never do this again. We did. So Wait, the bit's not over yet. What's going on? But she's in the middle of this bit realizing like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, not going the way I thought. The cutaways to the audience are kind of the only reason I pulled it. Uh, but uh, she uh, realizes like, oh, we got to try to pull the ripcord on this. See if we can do it. Reach out to your husband. I don't do shows like this to do this paternity thing. Hang on, please. So oh. we did do this paternity thing, and because my show is already paid for it, we're going to find out. <laughs> the three of us know what's on the screen. The audience does not know what's on the screen. We know. Here we go. Let's take a look. Fucking home run, Kumia! Uh, you really got us on that one, Tamron. Uh, yeah, these uh, two uh, large women are uh, actually actresses pretending that they were feuding sisters. Uh, just hurts. <laughs> just hurts so bad. Uh, well... Uh, there's part of me that wants to give you the option to uh, not watch anymore, but I, I think we need to see what uh, Jimmy Kimmel was up to for April Fool's All Day. right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think it's it's the least. So every year, Jimmy plays an April Fool's Day prank on his uh, his cousin Mickey, who is actually the talent booker on his show. His cousin Sal works on the show. His wife is the head writer, and apparently his cousin Mickey is the talent booker. So this is a really long bit that uh, we're not going to see that much of, but Billy Crystal participated in the bit. Kudos to him for being part of what is clearly a shitty bit, but the idea is that he's not feeling well, or maybe he's taking a medication that's making him sleepy. He was also chugging vodka, fake vodka at various points in this. So the bit didn't know what it wanted to be, but what it isn't is uh, funny. Yeah, that's good. Please just pull away. Uh oh, the phone's ringing, Eric. Oh, she's... It's Joe Hello. Biden. Hi, Billy. Uh, hi, sir. How are you doing, Billy? I'm, um, you know, sir. I'm, I'm, uh, Jimmy and I are ex- uh, excited about doing this fundraiser for you. I appreciate that. It's really important to make sure that we get the funds that we need. Billy has fallen asleep. Bring the country together. Eric. Yes. Billy? Billy is there? Tapping on the shoulder, Billy's not moving. Hello, Billy? I'll be right there. Uh, Was anyone else thrown off at how Billy Crystal looks? (laughs) I I didn't think that that was him. 
Well, that's why I made sure to tell you that that's Billy Crystal. <laughs> I know he, it, he has, but even though you told me, I was like, that's fucking Billy Crystal? He, Jesus he has gotten pretty old. Yeah. Oh, but uh, don't worry. Uh, after only about eight more minutes of this, uh, Jimmy comes in. What? And he lets go. Oh, it's oh. it's like a 15-minute bit, I, I think. Oh, yeah. no. Billy, I don't know if you, you know what the, you know what day today is? Uh, it's April 1st. Yeah. So the beginning of the month is always good because it's like a fresh start. <laughs> yeah, what else is, is it today, though? April 1st. Oh. Yeah. So slight silver lining. Uh, Jimmy's actually able to convince her that it really was Joe Biden. The voice that didn't sound remotely like Joe Biden. No. <laughs> Just, oh, no, I hung up on the president. It's like, yeah, he's, he's... That we're supposed to believe that this relative of Jimmy's, who'd you say it was again? His cousin, his cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's supposed to it's supposed to get one by the goalie every single year <laughs> that, this, that, that, that he plays pranks on her. Right. Yeah. I, I, and oh. I wonder that, too, because at some point. You know, when it's like, I don't know, March 29th, you start to think, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yep. uh, that, that day's coming up. Unless well, he does them like in January just to like, you know, get him in the can. I don't know. That's, that's the real April Fool's. Well, a lot of times the idea is to just prank your host when they're on camera by putting something wacky in the teleprompter, as Kelly Clarkson found. Hey, we're jumping into spring in an extreme way. <laughs> And she's what? reading what it says. I'm going skydiving with Jason Momoa. I'm going skydiving with Jason Momoa? Yeah. Not even for one of the hottest men on this planet am I jumping out of an airplane. Are you serious? April Fool's. Oh! Uh, so that's why I uh, pulled that one. Because the producer is just like, April Fool's. That's, that's it? They just let her think it for 10 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> Uh, uh, Kelly said she's sweating, but you know, is that from, from this or, uh, <laughs> Oh, Alex Watts notices something. Yeah. So she lost weight. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Maybe she probably took Ozempic. All right. I've got one more talk show, April fool's day prank. Oh, I hate you so I'm, much. I'm not going to lie. I hate you. It's my least favorite of all of them. Oh, it's from the talk which at one point was CBS's version of The View. There's a couple of dudes on it now. One of them is Jerry O'Connell, who, uh, well, he, uh, he, he's not so good of an actor that he can uh, fake a reaction to this. So this is going to be taking place in the morning meeting before the show. Nice coat, Jerry O'Connell. You overslept? <laughs> oh, Did you really? really? Oh, man. Yes. I'm sleepy, Jerry. My wife is so nervous. Like, did I just sleep through my alarm? And she was like, yeah, I was wondering why you were sleeping through it. Get over there! Get over there! So, the black gentleman jumping out of the couch is a co-host on the show. And the slowing it down and replaying it makes it even funnier. What if I never showed up? I got very scared. Do you believe Jerry O'Connell when he says I got very scared? Probably, because when crazy people jump out at you, you're going to be scared. April Fools shouldn't be just scare the shit out of people. All right, now answer me this. If there, say, wasn't that black gentleman on the show and there was just a random black guy that jumped out of the couch, do you think he might have been a little bit more scared? Probably. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Eric, I've... Uh, I, <laughs> he was about to reach for his wallet. I don't even know what that means, Loretta Silver member. Uh, I've put you through a lot today, Eric. And uh, what I really want to do is... Uh, well, as, as, as a little bit of a reward, uh, we're going to go over to Sportscasters now, and we have something very special for who are these Sportscasters today. Home of the hourly triple play. W-A-T-B, who are these Sportscasters? Just listen and find out who are these Sportscasters? 
And I'll have you know, there are three more April Fool's Day clips that I didn't use oh. and, and then three others that I knew not to even load up. All right? oh. I just wanted you to know that even I know when to say when. Oh. But uh, so uh, I think it's, uh, it's worth talking about one of the many hats that you wear is uh, as the color commentator uh, for the indoor arena football league. So why don't you talk about the name of the team that I thought I had written down in front of me, and I, I don't. Sure, so. sure. West Michigan Ironmen. Yes. They play arena football, and one of the things about them is they win every game. I'm not kidding you, like 85 to 6. <laughs> they always beat the hell out of the opponents. Opponents always suck. And uh, they asked me to be the color commentator for the online stream. And uh, I thought, uh, oh, but when you send it to me, I'm like, great, you know, we'll we'll find like a, a minute or 90 seconds of it. And um, there's too many things that uh, I can't believe you said, even though n now that you say it's for an online stream, it helps a little bit. But even if it's an online stream, I'm still surprised for some of this stuff. So uh, enjoy uh, Easy's handiwork. Refs have to explain exactly how the coin toss works to the Toledo team. Team captain for Toledo. I'm not sure that one of them out there right now is a real pork chop. Scrambling to his right. Whoa. Stiff Whoa. arms. Hey, he's up in the club. That's Carter wow. for you. That's Carter. Alex Carter. 100% oh, Carter. Carter. Flies into the stands. Oh my God. He sat right on that kid's face. <laughs> Frequent flyer miles by Alex. Yeah, he was, oh. he was being chased by that child. He was chasing the kids like, oh the my lag. God, he sat, on my, he sat on my face. Oh, no. All on it. No. All on it. Oh, oh my God. I told you, man. He rolled the ball back to the quarterback. Well, look at that again. What the, the hell? This center snapped it. To almost oh. through the uprights. Wow. Almost over the crossbar, what Dane. What is going on? Is this like a make-a-wish team or something? What happened to the helmet here? <laughs> El Chapo. Oh, he's kicking his helmet. Oh. Is that That's El Chapo? It, yeah, it is. That is uh, Richard uh, Villalopando, known as El Chapo. He's very upset at his helmet. That's all their nicknames. He kicked his helmet. I think he gave his helmet the finger. And then he told his helmet that the helmet was a whore. Bad blood now. How many how many grandkids you got there, coach? Uh none that I know none of. None that you know of. I'll 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 start that part up again in a second. But that was the moment where I'm like, <laughs> he calls his helmet a whore. I was like, all right, yeah. So clearly they knew what they did when they hired our buddy EZ and they were like, yeah, just go for it. Okay, that good. seems to be the nature of it. Yes. The fact that uh, in that one moment where it's like, he sat on a kid's face and you're like, oh, in case uh, nobody heard that, yeah, right. he sat <laughs> on a kid's <laughs> face. <laughs> all right. We'll go, we'll go back to the highlights. Bad blood now. How many, how many grandkids you got there, coach? Uh... None that I know None of. None that you know of. Okay. But I get cards on Father's Day. Okay. All right. Yeah, coaches laid pipe all over Michigan. Wow. Here's the oh, kiss cam. The kiss cam. Look at these. Look at these two. Oh, those two. Did you see those two hippies kissing? Was that two dudes? They don't even know each other. It looked like two dudes. I hope they know you too. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Dudes kiss all the time nowadays. Exactly. They got to get them to do like an open mouth kiss. <laughs> or maybe like grind. Oh, there we go. Yes. Uh, I wonder if that chick kisses all the players. Everybody gets to kiss her. That's gross. That's You can get mono from that. <laughs> I guess my question, Zane, is... When they sit down in the Shamrocks and they go over this game film, where do you start? Uh, you start by throwing the footage in the bur into the grill and burn it. <laughs> you just burn it. You don't. It scores fifty-eight it to happen. six at this yeah. point. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna love this. Oh, this song's making the. 
making all the chicks horny. I should. I, I feel bad for saying that because they're showing pictures of kids. That looked fun. We used to do those scooters in school, and then you get your finger ran over by one of the caster wheels. Black and blue for months. Definitely no finger banging. <laughs> I could uh, not believe that one. Oh, uh, there you go. A couple homeless people get the ball. <laughs> now, we might have enough time for the kickoff here, Zane, and that's going to wrap it up. Oh, uh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Thank God it's <laughs> over. Come on, kick it, you jerk. What are you waiting for? Oh, no. <laughs> I love that. Come on, kick it, you jerk. What are you waiting for? Um, the uh, yeah, there was no finger banging. Oh, uh, no, I it mean, should be should be noted yeah. that when I post that shit, um, the team then shares it. They 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 love it. In fact, there was one moment last year when the owner of the team from South Carolina was getting so pissed off at me, um, oh, this. <laughs> that she called the owner of our team and threatened to take her team off the field if I didn't shut up. And so the owner of the team, he goes, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Yeah. Oh, so they, what, they, they would just forfeit and your team would win, right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I got a lot of people <laughs> telling me that, that dude, you sound completely tanked. I got more, more than one person saying that I sounded drunk during that. Oh, yeah. no, I think you just sound like you, which I guess maybe, I don't know, are you always tanks like when we do this show? I always too? sound drunk, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess so. Uh, all right. Well, we have one final clip for the show. It is going to circle back to our first topic. I was saying before how it seemed like everybody loved the eclipse except for Howard Stern. But we have somebody else who didn't like it. That's right. Sir Charles. Charles Barkley hated the eclipse. I, th I thought I was watching it, and I thought it was maybe the Chuck Blimp that got in the way. Hey. I, I, well, y'all, some of them losers standing outside watching that today. They're not losers. Yes, they are. It, it, it doesn't it just, happen often. Hey, Chuck. we've all seen darkness before. Stop it. No, not, not in the daylight. No, it's, no. Come on, man. Come on, <laughs> Chuck. I don't did. hate on the eclipse. Come on, Yo, stop listen. It. I saw a loser standing watching your blimp. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> they were outside. Have you seen Chuck's blimp? <laughs> 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 So you're, so you're not a fan. You're not a fan uh, of the Well, I'm not going to sit outside like an idiot and wait on the darkness. Did you not wait I on your wait blimp? Till, I could have waited. It's going to be dark when we go outside. Can, can I ask you a second? Did you ask your family to wait on your blimp outside? I was trying to get my grandson to watch. See, there it is. So what are you talking about? He's, I'm not going to sit around like an idiot. And uh, I, I just love how much he's like, yeah, yeah, this is stupid. Yeah. I don't. And Yeah. Go ahead. The, well, what he was saying is not that different than Howard, but. Not that much different, but, but it just was better. It, for it, some reason, it's better when he says it. It's almost like if you printed out what Howard said and you handed it to Barkley and he said exactly what Howard said. You'd be like, yeah, God damn it, Charles, you're right. Yeah, you know? it, it's cool when Chuck says it, but Howard's just, he sucks. Jesus. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's very it's very disappointing because of, uh, you know, w once upon a time, the uh, level of fan that it was easy to be of, Correct. Uh, of Howard, but uh, no longer. Well, uh, we do have a, a special guest uh, joining us in one moment here, and uh, he has a, a variety of credits that he can share with us, but what I like the most about him is how he starts shit on Instagram with Chad Zumok. Oh, and, uh, oh, so, oh no. said, so there's a picture of a snake, and it said Chad crossing a Chad, and uh, Oh, Chad, you're fine. I know you hate us, and it's true we hate you too, uh, but it's fine, and it's all part of the job. Now unblock me from Twitter, dummy. Uh, but uh, also, uh, let's have Coke Logic animate these so your acting doesn't look so terrible, fatty. Learn how to spell, troll. And then uh, Dave writes back, so you steal KB's jokes and now steal Stutjo's gag. Gosh, who are a you are a phony Chad? Who'd have thought? So look, anybody who wades into the waters with the mud shark, uh, I think it's uh, worth having on the show, and uh, we appreciate that. You're looking at uh, one of the uh, one of the messages right now, and uh, welcome 
to who are these broadcasters. Dave Sarah. Dave, thanks for being here. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And fuck Chad Zumok. He is a phony. And I don't mind going to the mud waters with that idiot. So anytime, I'm glad that my my uh, credits are just me trolling on the internet, but that's exactly what look, I do. Yes. Look, you. I said that there's other things you could talk about, but uh, you know, you get the you get the gold star for getting into it with the mud shark. Who, all uh, the time. Even Eric knows what a dipshit the mud shark is, and you, and oh, you yeah. try to stay out of all the dabble stuff, right, Eric? I actually way back when I was the first the first person to anti Zumok. Really? It, yeah, if you were talk to, about you were that ask, for a moment. I, I want to hear ask, about that. Well, this was when Carl had him on WATP, and I noticed oh, nice. that there was some backlash. First time he, first time he had him on, there was some backlash about that. So, I listened to the episode, and I was so moved to hate him that I started to do my own little campaign. And this is before <laughs> hating Chad Zumok was cool, yeah. right? And, and uh, this, I ended up reviewing Chad a couple times. Uh, on WATP, and then mm -hmm. it eventually turned the show eventually turned on Chad, and then that was about it. Everybody then jumped in and beat the shit out of Chad, but I was the very first person to publicly go after him. And to him, he could have very easily he banned me. I want I wanted to put him on my show, which he, yeah, he would love that. And um, so that uh, it kind of just blew up after that point. But um, yeah, I was I was very early in the hating on Zuma. Yeah, and he's gonna love he this that we're talking about it, and and yeah, and me, mine and Chad's feud goes all the way back to when he was still in L.A. Like I don't know, doing something with Tripoli or something. But I love fucking with him. I love fucking with Ray. I just love fucking with all of them because they're all idiots and they're all open micers. And just call yourself an open micer, and none of this is an issue. But they well, insist look, on calling themselves comedians. If if You're Ray stupid. DeVito. If Ray DeVito and Chad Zumok are the only comedians in Ohio, uh, Ray DeVito is a national treasure. So, uh, you know, I think that uh, that's uh, I didn't see what that super chat was uh, there. Uh, easy. But uh, oh, he, uh, Deng Lizard just said can confirm easy was one of the first to throw oil cans at Chad. Do you, do you think he's Dang Lizard? Do you think is he's do you think he's forgotten you at this point, Eric, that uh, we could try and go back in on the mud shark? I you know, I don't. He probably hasn't forgotten me, but his his thing that he always did with me was the whole "Who is he? Who is he? I don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah. Who is he? Oh yeah, who is, he? who is who are you, stupid? Yeah, no. you know, when uh, when whatever. Kevin Brennan says "Who is he?" I believe that he didn't know who you were. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, now that's true. That's absolutely true. Uh, All right. and, and, and Chad might feel the same way too. But I've been I've been yeah. you know I I'm, it's been so bad that I just gave up. Because he doesn't engage me in any way. I, I'm Good. such a nobody that the the mud shark doesn't even know who I am. Like, well, I feel honored now. Apparently, I guess that he acknowledges my existence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Dave, uh, you've uh, yes. prepared a game for us, and I've already received a season desist from Cardiff Electric. But uh, oh. you know, he didn't invent games. Uh, no. So explain the concept. Sure. And uh, let me know which clip. Actually, first tell me which clip you want. and then Sure. And I'll, I'll explain a little bit what we're going to do here. And you guys being radio guys, you guys might know the great Tim Conway Jr. This is a game that he would play on his show very often. I don't think they do it anymore because it's not PC. But for years and years and years, I would tune in every Thursday to the Tim Conway Jr. show or the Conway and Whitman show or whatever. And they'd play, what the hell did Jesse Jackson say? And it's basically a game where every Sunday they cut clips from Jesse Jackson's sermon and that following Thursday callers get to call in and they get to try their luck at what the heck is Jesse Jackson saying for some prizes. And that's what we're going to play today. We have one pointers, two pointers and three pointers. I've given you each three clips. You have not heard them I and not, we're going to no, play no, no, along. No. <clears throat> so what clip would you like first? Uh, okay. So for our round one, this one is for Christian where Christian's going to go first for Christian, the one-pointer clip is clip 11. All right. And uh, while I'm uh, loading up clip 11, uh, tell people where they can find you and, and your yes. various wares and where you are on social media, all those good things. I'm I'm everywhere on Instagram, um, on YouTube, and I'm on Twitter, just Dave Sarah. You'll find me. On Twitter, I'm Dave Exhale, but you'll find me if you type in Dave Sarah. But I'm um, East L.A. local, born and raised, so love it. Love you guys. Well, I appreciate you uh, bringing this uh, game to us. And uh, all right. So this is clip 11 of uh, Jesse here. And uh, it's a. Uh, and and, and let me just let me just preface this real quick. Don't feel free to play it. 
play it as many times as you need to. Sure. Um, there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of an extra uh, on the end on some of these clips, so it might stop earlier than the clip ends. But just go ahead and replay. Well, it this one's too. six seconds, so I can't imagine it, what extra there is here. So this is it's, uh, uh, there's extra. Okay, so let's uh, let's listen to the Reverend. So the trauma units and hospitals. <laughs> okay, so let's try that so, again. Yes, there. Uh, the, you're right. There is a little extra there. Let's try and hear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've I've boosted the audio best I can. Let's hear what uh, Jesse has to say. Close the trauma units and hospitals. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rough one. That whistle. That's a that whistle at the end is a Jesse Jackson. Uh, claim to fame right there. i mean he whistles oh. i mean my dog goes crazy every time this guy talks it's like when mike buschetti talks you hear my dog's looking around what the fuck is happening so the uh, the obviously the word hospitals is there at the end that part's legitimately easy to get so, and i will take uh, two versions of this there's one word in there that you can't quite get and no. i've listened to it hundreds of times I, I feel like I'm just going to give one guess. I feel like he uh, said Trump closed the hospitals, but that doesn't actually even make sense. But uh, you're stupid. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's trauma units and hospitals ah, or then, it's trauma yeah. units in hospitals. It's, I'll okay. accept both. You of would those. have accepted both of those. All right. So I, I have zero points. Zero yeah. points. It's OK. We're, we've got now, plenty of game to go here. Does Eric go next or do I go three? Eric, times? Eric goes next. Okay. For Eric, his one pointer is clip six. Clip six. All right. We've explained this. We've got the Reverend ready to go. Let's check him out. And we go back to Detroit and have a summit meeting. I mean, Jesse Jackson it. said, go back to Detroit and have a summit meeting. Play one more time. You're yeah, almost play one there. more. Yeah. You get yeah, all right. I, I see how this works, Dave. I said, yeah. sure, come on the show, and you give Eric all the easy clips. Okay. Why can't no, no, we no, go no, back no. to Detroit <laughs> and have a summit meeting? Why can't we go back to the why can't he go back to Detroit and have a summit meeting? Yeah, I, I think it's we, but I'm gonna Correct. give him the points there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give it it's um why can't we go back to Detroit and have a summit meeting? All right. Okay. All, right, All right, so we got Zane on the board with one, my fellow Armenian. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's, no, but there's no collusion. All right, what's my next game? <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, for Christian, you get the easy clip 15 for two points. And again, if you got to listen to it a couple times, you know, you got to listen to it. And then after you guess, maybe we'll let the uh, chat take a couple guesses, a couple seconds. But go ahead. Okay. All right, so 15 here. And have majority vision. We can think bigger than who we are. God damn it. Minorities can have majority vision. We can think bigger than who we are. So majorities, no, minorities can have majority vision. We can think bigger than who we are. Yes. Sir. Good nice. shit. Good shit. Black. Right. Minorities can have majority vision. We can think bigger than who we are. That's How right. old is he now? How old is Jesse? Because... Um, okay, so actually, uh, the great Jesse Jackson just stepped down from his, um, I forget the name of the company. It's like the Rainbow something, whatever. Uh, Rainbow so Coalition. He recently, yeah, yeah. Rainbow Coalition. So he just stepped down from his Rainbow Coalition, and he will no longer be doing, I don't think he's doing any more Sunday sermons. He's far too old. I believe, I want to say he's in his 80s. This was taken from about six years ago, it seems. Oh, all right. That makes a little bit more sense. All right, what's our clip number? So I so it's right. two to one right now, but two to uh, one. Christian gets his second clip now. I mean, excuse me, Eric gets his second clip now. For Eric, we have clip sixteen. Clip sixteen for easy. Mm -hmm. Our children cannot learn to lay a brick. <laughs> Ooh, okay. we're gonna, see. We're gonna is, go back on that one. <laughs> Yeah, these this is these are the really really good Jesse Jackson clips. The long ones where he's mumbling, it's difficult. The good ones are where you can he understand half of it, and then the second half is just inaudible, man. I'm sorry, Eric. What was that uh, chat that popped up from JFK yeah, Headshunk? I, I couldn't read it. I didn't see it. I, I think yeah. it was a, a glitch. <laughs> yeah, it's a glitch in the matrix. I think it was yeah. a. I think it was a glitch. I didn't yeah, actually I, click on it. <laughs> Oh, Again, I, I have new glasses coming, so I can't read it. All right, let's listen to this clip one more time. Does it matter to you that our children cannot learn to lay a brick? Okay. One more time. Yep, of course. Absolutely. One more. Does it matter to you that our children cannot learn to lay a brick? Does it matter to you that our children cannot 
learn to lay a brick. Yes! Woo! Now, see, I would have gotten that wrong baby. because yeah. I thought he said, I truly cannot lay a brick. And I thought, I was oh, like, you're, you're old, children. Jesse. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, what that means is that, uh, Eric, you speak Jesse better than I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So far. So far. All right. So, it's uh, three to two. Three and to I two. Have my final clip now. It's a three pointer. Yeah. And again, these three pointers, you might want to stop it halfway through, get the first half, and then continue on. I'll make it up to you guys. But for for Christian, number th the three pointer clip is clip number two. Clip number two. All right. <laughs> What's up? Don't stand still. The wall is closing in. Go forward by hope and not backwards by fear. Okay, so I see what you're saying, <laughs> that I might want to stop in the middle and try and get the first part. Yes. All right, let's try that. Soldiers are back there. Don't stand still. The wall is closing in. Go forward by hope and not backwards by fear. Oh, boy. You can play it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to. Uh, all right, so. Soldiers are back there. Don't stand still. The wall is. So our soldiers are back there. They can't. Stand still, the waters back there. Closing in, go forward by hope and not backwards by fear. Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, Let it go a couple yeah, times. Let it go a couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Soldiers are back there. Don't stand still, the waters closing in. Go forward by hope and not backwards by fear. Okay, so wow. they sense the soldiers are back there. They sense the water closing in. And soldiers they, are back there. Don't stand still, the waters closing in. Go forward by hope and not backwards by fear. Yeah, and wow, uh, not lot. be held backwards by fear. I I, I, I realize I might have uh, jumbled part of it, and uh, no, it's okay. I, I will take the loss if uh, if I didn't quite get it right. But I Just I felt like listen, I got listen, some of it. Listen to it one more time, and then give me your final answer on okay. it. Okay, soldiers are back there. Don't stand still. The wall is closing in. Go forward by hope, and not backwards by fear. Oh, it's very hard, very hard. So yeah, that's uh, something that requires. Yeah, I was going to say it requires you to write it down and then like yeah. two words and then start it all over. Two <laughs> words. Yeah. I, Imagine I, I would, me. I would need the final Jeopardy sort of. Uh, sure. You know, getting getting to okay. write it out. But so, uh, yeah, so I, I feel like I've gotten some of the words, but I will concede that I'm not getting that clip. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. You're stupid. The, the actual answer is. Soldiers of Baghdad, don't stand oh. still. The waters are closing in. Go forward by hope and not backwards in by fear. All right. Wow. I, I, right. Wasn't, I, know. I wasn't getting Baghdad. Zane, you ain't getting this one. Don't worry. No. You ain't getting this oh. next one, Zane. No, so he's, don't even worry. He's still going to win. This he's, one, already, he's already won, hasn't he? already he? won. Yeah, that's but okay. Let's, yeah, whatever. Let's just do it for fun. No, you uh, want to humiliate me. So yeah, uh, that's, that's okay. fine. <clears throat> All so right. This last one, it's not as long, but it's very difficult. So... It's going to be clip number 18, which is the last clip I made. Clip number 18 for Eric for three points. All right. Legends, call by my name. Well, I'm going to and pray. Okay. I think the first part is not that hard, but uh, he definitely trails off a bit at the end there. 5,000 legends, call by my name. Well, I'm going to and pray. Would you 5, like that again, Eric? Yeah, one more time, one more time. 5,000 legends called by my name. Well, I'm going to and pray. 5,000 legends called by my name when I'm on the and pray. Uh, you stupid. I, it's close. This was a tough one. So, so Here, let's, play, originally, let's play it again before you reveal. Yeah. 5,000 yeah, legends called by my name. Well, I'm going to and pray. Yeah, that, mm, that yeah. there's that middle part where he's like, Bleh. yeah, that. Yeah. that yeah. So what were so, you say, Dave? So Zane, I think you were right. Well, when I first heard this clip, I thought it was called by my name. And it's not that. So it's actually five thousand lynchings crawled by my knee, and then one of them prayed. That's the line. Oh That's, and me and me and a few other people, other judges that I brought in to help me <laughs> decipher the, the fucking Hellraiser puzzle of this Jesse Jackson game. But um uh, that's that's what we came up with. Five thousand lynchings crawled wow. by my knee, and then one of them prayed. That uh, is that is. Yeah, I I was gonna ask how you get the you know I didn't know if there were transcripts uh, of it, but uh, no. you have a judge who evaluates Jesse Jackson. Clip. Yeah, I'll, I'm surprised that uh, I'm surprised that Reverend Shitstain Powerful Pooper hasn't had any thoughts on these clips. No, so he's masturbating. That's why. <laughs> 
That sounds about right. He's uh he by the way, he's uh very hard at work on uh, our segment uh featuring the army major. Uh well, Ooh. Dave, thank you for coming and play the no game. No problem. And uh anytime. I, I at least understand how it works. We'll definitely play it again because you sent me 18 clips. So uh, yeah, and uh, there's more of that to come. And I swear, I mean, anytime I love it. You guys are great. I love WATP. Thank you again. You guys are the best. This man. is WATB, and you. I know uh, that you like us a little bit less. Uh, you know, we're happy to be people's third favorite on the channel because the creep off's not really on this channel. So uh, right, you know, we'll we'll take the uh, third place. Well, Dave, no uh, give uh, give your socials and everything yep. again before Easy and I wrap this thing up. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah, I have I have I have a drug hobby. Is actually I'm, I have a I have yeah, a JFK intense... Hedgehog says Dave needs a drug habit that would yeah, be more I've... constructive than listening to these Jesse Jackson clips. <laughs> yeah, I have a I have an intense cocaine hobby, is what I call it. Big fucking dicks <laughs> so and a big fat. You can head. you can find me on at uh, Dave Sarah on Instagram, Dave XL on Twitter, and please 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 go follow me on YouTube. I'm gonna ha I'm supposed to, I was supposed to do a live show at the Rec Room in August. But the rec room is closing, so we're not going to have the MI Degenerate show in August, but we will have it soon. Maybe you guys can come down one day. We'll see. Well, I love I you mean, guys. I, Thank I'm you so local. much. I, I can. I don't Me know. Too. I mean, Easy didn't fly out for the eclipse, so I don't know. <laughs> but uh, there's, a, there's a whole network uh, that uh, was going to have one of their shows at the rec room, right? And Yeah, in, that's in the Shuli Network, yeah, right? Shuli yeah. was going to do a show there. I was thinking mm -hmm. of driving down as long as, as long as I could get comped, so it probably <laughs> meant I wasn't going to go. Anyway. Dave, Sarah, yeah. thank you. Uh, he's a very vocal contributor on the Discord. Please, you can join the WATP Discord for free. Uh, you'll see uh, Dave and myself over there. Thanks again, Dave. We'll talk to you soon. No problem. Big fucking tits and a big fat ass. <laughs> I love I, I love when people come with uh, clips. Uh, you know, their own soundboard. Uh, Cardiff always does that. Uh, I know you're not a huge fan of the potato, but uh, no, I, feel I love like the I'm, potato. I just bust ah, we his love balls. I just bust his All right. balls. So we have done a very long show, the longest show we've done in a while, but we still have to visit with one moment in broadcasting history. Flashback, 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 Way back, back in the time. Let's find out who are these broadcast histories. So all the April Fool's clips I showed earlier were from this year. And like I said, there's plenty more that I didn't use. Uh, this one is uh, from a little while back. But uh, I think everybody will just have to say this is the epitome of April Fool's Day pranks. Obviously, you're all going to be laughing off into the sunset after you hear this one. Reportedly sent a text message to his mother telling her shots had been fired inside the school. She immediately called police who swarmed the building. It turned out to be an April Fool's prank gone very wrong. Very panic. I was in Godfrey and it... I came straight here when I heard, and then nobody will tell us anything. Immediately, my mind went to my younger sister, who's in eighth grade, and my friends and my family that go here. And I texted my sister. I asked her, what's going on, if you can answer. And she called me and said it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the hilarious, uh, yeah. hey, mom, there's an active shooter in my middle school. Oh, oh God. April Fool's. Wow. That move over, Tom. Move over, Mayor Menino. Uh, it's uh, it's the school shooter prank. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's better than the uh, school shooter prank? Well, easy. Uh, it was a it was a long one today, and uh, we really stuck with just a couple of things. It looks like we've got a uh, champion, a new champion for me to read. I really like that one dang lizard head, but uh, uh, whoever that is, they usually kind of swoop in at the last second. Uh, I want to uh, let everybody know to join us next week, Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we will be visited once again by our returning champion of WATB, Don Jameson, whose new album, Live in McSorley's, is now available for pre-order. Uh, Don's going to sit in with us, and I think this time I've uh, unearthed some Ozzy Osbourne clips for us to react. Uh, there may be some laughs hidden in there. But Eric, where do people find you? Uh, real simple. Just uh, wherever you download podcasts, just check me out. 
Uh, that would be Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the Eric Zane Show podcast, as you can see. Uh, happens daily, and it's free. Uh, I'm at Christian DMZ on social media. My podcast, the Blackcast, B-L-A-D-T-C-A-S-T. Go to whoarethese.com to find the voicemail number. Leave us a message. Say it's for W-A-T-B. Join the Patreon. And while you're there, get your tickets for Hackamania, May 31st through June 2nd. Hackamania.com. Use the promo code W-A-T-P. You'll get a discount. That is all the time we have for now. Are we caught up on Super Chats except for the last one? Are there any that... uh, Okay. So uh, why don't you put that one up there? And uh, as always, this is Christian Blatt reminding you, every mic is a hot mic. And I, Christian Blatt, enjoy having Eric Zane as a co-host because I have always been sexually attracted to Empty Nest star Richard Mulligan. Who hasn't? (laughs) See you next week, everybody.